want to give you a little peek at how the packing is going along. I'm doing the final pack today. What we're looking at here is the tent, uh, rain fly, footprint that goes under the tent, rain gear, pants and jacket, uh, waterproof socks, some extra plastic, and uh, covers for gloves, and a laundry bag, something we could wash in. And all of that goes in this bag and will be put along one side of the bike. All right, so there's the uh, first bag packed up. The one that will go on the other side has the following. You have uh, some thermal underwear, in case it gets chilly, pillow, uh, change of clothes, which is a shirt, uh, pants, a pair of underwear, something to wear each evening, or other, other times we need to be out of our gear. In here I have a spare jersey and some neck gaiters. Um, I think maybe another pair of underwear. I've got some padded shorts from Moto Skivvies, two of these. I'll probably wear those each day. A uh, pair of running shorts. We have uh, toiletries, uh, eating utensils. What's this one? Uh, wash towel, and a washcloth and a towel, and a goggle wipe. Uh, some spare earplugs. Uh, three pair of socks, and then this is the, the drying bag. Once we do laundry, we can put things dry in that if we have to be moving. Uh, one luxury item, I'm bringing a razor to shave my, my uh, goatee. Uh, medications, ibuprofen, pain, things like that. Uh, some bug spray, mosquito net, very important. Um, sunglasses, some wipes. Uh, miscellaneous cables for everything in a, in a charge pack. Um, portable battery charger for the GoPro. Memory cards for the GoPro. Uh, some tripod and uh, redundant connectors in case we break some on the trail. So that is all of the second side and that goes in this bag. So we got the first two side bags packed. Uh, the third and last bag, which sits behind the rider, we will have uh, the following items in it. So here's just a couple dry bags and uh, another net bag. Might come in handy. Uh, some puffy jackets, something that be an underlayer if things get cold when we're riding or in the evenings. Uh, this is a, a liner for a sleeping bag. Helps keep the uh, sleeping bag, which is here, uh, cleaner over time. So we can wash this more, more easily. Uh, this is the sleeping pad. Um, we have here a water filter uh, inside here and a couple of water bladders in case we need to carry some extra water. Some first aid items, some Luco tape if I have room, we'll see. Uh, anyway, some uh, cold weather gloves and also they're water resistant. We have a little stove just for cooking up some hot water. We're gonna bring enough food, one or two of these probably, and then maybe some trail mix. Just to have energy on the trail for a couple days if we get stuck somewhere. And then a riding jacket. So all of those items, will go in this bag and uh, that pretty well concludes everything that's going to go on the bike minus the uh, there's a very small tank bag and actually most spoke in the first video the GoPro batteries will actually be up in a tank bag so that I can charge them as I travel so we'll get this packed up and I think we've got about everything loaded that's going all right so those are the three bags that are packed up well, they get mounted on the uh, harness that's on the bike. There is one more auxiliary bag that I'll be using. This is a tent pole bag, also just another dry bag. Um, so I have the tent poles and stakes for the tent and the Baja no pinch tool for mounting tires. I'm going to decide to bring that along and it's a little too long to fit it safely in the other bags without 
causing a hole. Uh, take, I covered up the rough end there. So anyway, those three items go in the tent pole bag and they'll kind of ride alongside uh, that uh, line rider. So those are the four. And the fifth one would be a uh, tank bag, which you'll see later, and uh, also have a fender bag on the front fender. All right, so those are the three primary bags. Of course, the auxiliary bag that I mentioned. Uh, it's now going to show you the riding gear in terms of what it's like to be uh, dressed out and ready to go for the day. So here's the helmet. Um, we've installed some quick straps that allow us to basically use Velcro on one side where you can quickly take it off and not have to uh, put it falling away. And you can also turn this upside down, loop it around the back if you don't want to wear them sometime. But anyway, so that's goggles. Um, have a GoPro mounted on the chin. This is how we're going to bring you along as we travel. Um, I've got audio feeds both for my voice and for the intercom. So you see inside here, this microphone is the intercom. And then on this side, I have a mic about here that is uh, for the camera. And I've got a second mic just like that that's tucked in behind the ear pocket. The speakers for the intercom right here inside the inside the helmet. And I put uh, another speaker um, up against that so that we can bring that audio uh, both from the camera, or my, you know, my voice from the camera and Jack's voice through the intercom. And we come through a splitter here and combine the two mics and uh, run them up into the camera. Anyway, that's, that's head protection. Um, on the other end, feet protection. So these boots I'll be wearing. Uh, basically, they're like a ski boot. I mean, they're they're hard plastic, very rugged, which is an important thing. Um, easy to get hurt, uh, getting your leg trapped under a rock or or burn. You can see here while wow, this is all melted. I went down in Florida in some deep sand, and the bike ended up on my on my uh, leg and it took some time for me to extract myself and it melted the plastic on the bike and melted the melted the boot um, those are the days you're really glad to have a strong good solid boot uh, then for the elbows we've got some protection for the elbows same thing for the knee i had a more of a armored shell for the knee and lower leg but it was not as comfortable as I would like for the number of hours we're going to have to run. So I just I opted to go with a, a little softer arrangement on the legs. Of course, some gloves. I like to wear a gaiter around the neck. I just kind of keep the sun off. I mentioned before the moto skivvies, the padded shorts. I'll be doing that. Uh, socks. Uh, over the shorts, I wear this body armor. Basically, this is a just a mesh net. And inside of it are some panels that provide uh, some certified protection. It's soft, but it firms up if you get hit. So what this is really for, I wear this hip, right? So there's the side of the leg, the hip, and the thigh, and also the coccyx. It's a little protection. But um, when you do a get off, I've had some nasty bruises. Um, nothing really an injury, but it's certainly uncomfortable. So I hope that helps. Uh, riding pants. Uh, these kind of a combination pant. They have, um, you can get it to focus here, material here, top and bottom, breeze, and, and this doesn't so much. So you protect from uh, moisture coming off of plants and things. And of course, they got the typical leather inserts on the knees where you can grip the bike and protect you a little better as you're riding the bike. Um, jersey. Like I said, I have this one. I have a spare as well. I have two jerseys along. And then for body protection, I have a uh, I think a chest protector and back protector. So this is the chest. Um, back gives you some protection down towards the spine, which is nice. There's some panels that come around the side to uh, protect your ribs. And we've got protection on each shoulder. 
tested that out. You can see some scars here. I took some a nice get off a couple times and hit some rocks. So it's nice to have a little protection. Um, and then on top of the chest protector on the back, uh, a hydration pack. So it's a very small hydration pack, it's very thin. Uh, I don't really want to carry any weight on the bike uh, as I'm riding on my back because it's not good for your shoulders. That's a long day, you know, if you're out eight or ten hours a day, that's not good. So I have just enough room in here for some, maybe a snack, a tool, maybe a flashlight. Oh, yeah, a mosquito net, keep that around. At least in the parts of the country that have bugs. And uh, I think we've got three liters of water to carry as well. So that is that is what we ride out in. It's interesting to look at it. It's almost more gear than we carry <laughs> in our bags. So it's a good thing we don't have to pack it. But that is that is how we ride. And we look forward to uh, taking with, with the camera on the trip. Uh, hope you enjoy the ride as much as we do. And one last item I forgot to mention. I should have when we were taking a look at the helmet. Um, we have a an intercom mounted here on the side that uh, I'd mentioned it. There's some speakers and all, but this is the unit itself. Uh, it allows us to speak with each other as we're going down the trail. And with that dual microphone set up, the idea is that you'll be able to hear both of us conversing. Um, so I think that uh, finishes it up.